Hello everybody and welcome back to episode number two of the Android segment and today we're going to be continuing the top three application reviews that I have for you. This is going to be the top three apps that I use every single day that helped improve my quality of life. So I detailed that in the last episode so I won't waste too much time in it. This episode we'll jump right into the app review. So we're using the same setup as last time, we're recording with the camcorder for real time and we're also recording on my computer for high quality, high definition. And the application that we're reviewing today is here on this page of apps and it's going to be Ring Scheduler. So somewhat along the same lines of the alarm clock being the last app that was most important, this has a different role but is just as important for me. This is a really cool free application that allows you to configure your phone to automatically go into a certain ring mode at a certain time. Uh, why that's really important to me is because the type of job that I work at. I work in a job that we're not allowed to have cell phones on us during work hours. They've become more lenient and they let us have our cell phones on us, but definitely your phone cannot ring while you're at work. So that means you have to put it on silent or vibrate. What happens, it doesn't happen to me so much as much as my other half. She does this almost every single day. So I installed this on her phone just the other day. She put it on silent when she comes to work in the morning because you remember that, that's the important part. But after you've worked your nine hour day and you're going home, you're too busy and you forget to turn your phone back on to ring. And so you miss all your phone calls. So friends, family, and people calling you about things, your phone is on silent still and you totally miss those calls. So this is the really easy, foolproof way to fix that because now your phone will automatically go into silent mode at a certain time and automatically turn back on after another amount of time. And that's easy and automatic and that automating things like that in your life can really, really make it much better. So let's go ahead and show you the program and how easy this is. This is nothing more than a application to set a ring style on your phone at a certain time and it lets you do so by a day-to-day -day basis so you can customize it. If we go into the options first, I'm not going to go over all of the options. I think the most important option in here that I'll talk about real quick is this one right here. Um, resume later. What's cool about resume later is it kind of gives you a dumbed down version of having to go and schedule a ringer on this program like I'll show you in a minute and it interacts with how you use your phone in real life. Best way to explain that's in an example. If I go to the movies later today and I know the movie's gonna last two hours and I get those screens that tell you before the movie starts, please be quiet, turn off your phones, such such. So you put your phone on silent and then you watch your two hour movie and it's just like when you're leaving work, when you're leaving the movie, you forget to turn your phone back on. It would be a lot of hassle to go into this program and schedule your ringer to come back on after the movie, you know, you can do it that way, but why go through so much trouble? Resume later is just a really smart and interactive way that when you put your phone into silent by taking your volume um, knob or your volume button and turning it all the way down into silent, a little pop-up will come up on your screen and says resume later, yes or no. If you click on yes, then it's going to ask you to put in a time that you want your phone to resume its current mode. So it will automatically know that right now your phone is in a ringing state and if you want to turn it back on in two hours when the movie's over, it will automatically do that for you. So that's really, really cool, especially for things like meetings that you're not, uh, don't want your phone to ring at, movies, things like that. So you don't have to always have a static schedule like I do with work. You can still use this program for those unexpected things and keep your phone ringing when you need it to and silent when you don't. So those are some of the features in here. Now we'll go ahead and go back to the screen. I'll explain my ringer setup real quick. My job, I work Monday to Friday, so right at 8 a.m., which is when I come into the door, I have my phone go into vibrate only. So Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday at 8 a.m., it goes to vibrate only. At 5.05 p.m., it goes to 100% ringer volume and vibrate. And I do that every day because I don't need to leave it only on the uh, Monday to Friday, if for some reason I put it on silent, it'll make sure it turns it back on at 5.05, even on Saturday and Sunday. And if it's already in ringing mode, it's just gonna keep it in ringing mode. So it's not like it's a bad thing to have a little bit of redundancy. The, the timer is basically, you don't set, I want my phone from silent from eight to five. Uh, you actually just set the time that you want it to go into one mode and the time you want it to go into another mode. 
I think that's a smarter way to do this. And so I think that's obviously the easiest way to do it as well. We'll show you how easy that is to do now. If I was to set something today at 9.50 a.m., I can choose whether that repeats every single day or manually choose the days that I want that to take effect. After that, I choose what I want to take place. Do I want a normal ringer, a silent mode, or a vibrate? Do I want my ringer volume to be customized? You can do that. You can go anywhere from very quiet to all the way maxed out, and it gives you a percentage reading as well. Do I want vibrating on or off? And do I need to use that blacklist feature? Once you're done with that, you can put a note in to name this, and once you hit OK, it's going to show up here on your main screen of timers. So it's very simple to use. It's not very convoluted and complex, which makes it something that everybody can take advantage of without having to have a degree in rocket science. In addition to that, it's a free program, so you really have nothing to lose. You do see that there's some ads in here, but they're non-intrusive. And once you set up your main ringers, you're probably never going to go back into the program for much anyways. It's just going to run in the background under your services. So you can see that it tells me ongoing. I have a next mode happening at 5 or 5 p.m. today. It'll go to 100% ringer and it will vibrate. So there you go, guys. Easy to use. Definitely very helpful and it has improved the quality of life for me day to day. So I hope you enjoy the second episode of the Android segment. I'd be appreciating any comments, thumbs up, subscribers, and things I get from the videos. Of course, ask your questions if you have any, and I'll be sure to get to you. So this is Vicious, and I'll see you guys next time.